What's up guys? Me and Abby coming at you with week two of the Roar. Do we got a good show for y'all. Let's just get straight into it. Let's go. We're Lansing Soccer. And you're watching the Roar! You know, being a senior this year, there sure is a lot to be excited about. There's a lot more to be excited about. Let's take a look at some students and what they find exciting this year. Did you all have a good summer? I know I sure did. Yeah, man, this summer was crazy, bro. There you have it for the news about this summer. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. Let's look at how people picture their ideal school year going. So my hopes for this year is that everybody stays safe and that we are able to continue being in person as well as trying to um, achieve a sense of normalcy that we lacked last year. I'm hoping that eventually uh, there's less restrictions for COVID so that um, we don't have to keep rescheduling football games. I think we started off fairly well. I'm really excited about our seniors and their leadership to start the year and as it progresses through the year to see them grow into that spot and then uh, underclassmen as well, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors and see their growth through the school year. That's always an important thing. You know, with the new school year comes new seasons. It's a little too chilly for fall, but fall is still my favorite. Well, let's see what other students around the LHS have to say. Um, I don't really like winter because like, I mean, I don't really like the cold. It's not my kind of, it's not my kind of thing. Um, it's too cold, especially when it's like football season and stuff like that. It's really, it really gets irritating, you know, when you're out there playing. Uh, I don't like spring because of all the rain. I just don't like, it's always raining. I feel like it ruins everything. Out of all of them, I think probably fall is going to have to go because I don't, I just don't think fall is like at all like a good season, to be honest. Like, there's not much in fall. So, my least favorite season is probably going to be winter. I mean, I just don't like how cold it is, like on some real stuff. I'd rather it be hot than maybe at like freezing. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. My least favorite season is spring because it's too humid and it's too wet to do anything fun outside. Abby, I got a question. Fire away. What goes into the, the band side of all these performances being a drum major? So being a drum major and all, I mean, I'm the top of the leadership, so I got to be able to make sure the leadership and team knows what they're doing and that they can express it to their members so that we are able to get the drill, the music, okay. with their... Okay. Let's take a deeper look with her and band behind the scenes. The marching lions that have a lot that go on behind the scenes to be able to put their show on the field. Let's take an inside look of what has to happen. I feel like our preparation is starting to show on the field and our performances are going well and I see the band continuing to get better. So the band's been doing a lot to prepare for their show this year. Uh, we've been coming in three times a week, 20 minutes early into school so that we can get on the field earlier and have more time to practice. We've also been coming in on Wednesday nights for two and a half hours from 6 to 8.30 uh, so that we can get more drill on the field. And I feel like the performances we've had so far have been very solid and are definitely showing us for a promising future in this season. The Marching Lions hope to have a successful marching season. Make sure to stay and watch their halftime show. This has been Abigail Brown reporting for The Roar. Wow, I did not know that much went into those band performances. Yeah, it's a lot of hard work and dedication to be able to put that good of a show on the field. Yeah, there's a lot of hard work and dedication that goes into making The Roar for you guys every week. That's all we got for this week. We got Coda and Abby signing, signing off. off.
Here's number 10, Callan Carver in the shotgun formation. Drops back. Passes it to wide receiver Jaden Moore. Oh, picked off by Richie Patrick, number 20. And he's driving downfield. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30. He has all kinds of room at the 10. Touchdown, Lions. Is this recording? I know. Yeah. Oh. Am I still on frame? We got a lot of I good stuff. I messed that up a lot. Oh, I actually well, had it. Oh, shoot. I'm supposed to say this is Dakota and Abby. Oopsie. Yeah, dummy. We'll see you guys. What am I supposed to say at that point? Is that enough? There we go. There's a lot to look forward to. <laughs> that one's going at the end of the video.